Now that we have our plan view set up, it's very easy to add additional views, such as elevations, and even an isometric view. Let's open our model, specifically 09 underscore model. Then, go into the ortho views and open drawing named 09 underscore 04 underscore ortho. Here I already create a top viewport in 3 16th of an inch to a foot scale. To create an elevation view, start with the existing viewport, go to ortho views, and select an adjacent view. For instance, choose the front view, and then place it in the drawing. Repeat the process for additional views, such as a right view, and adjust as needed. To include an isometric view, select a southwest isometric and place it in the drawing. If the view appears too large, adjust the scale, such as changing it to 1 16th of an inch to a foot. Ensure no hidden lines is selected for clarity. Views can be modified individually. For example, you can display hidden lines in one view while omitting them in another. Center lines and hidden elements, such as piping behind a tank, can also be toggled. Creating adjacent views is straightforward and provides flexibility. You can display different details in each view, such as showing pipe gaps in one and hidden lines in another. Adjust scales and representations independently to fit the layout and details required. For additional customization, use the Pipe Gap tool to emphasize specific areas, such as piping beneath a structure. To undo a pipe gap, erase the adjustment and regenerate the view. These tools make it easy to set up detailed orthographic views with minimal effort. You can display various configurations across multiple views while maintaining control over individual settings.